Hey guys, welcome back to Jacko's Castle. Today we're going to talk about the Geyser T6. Now, the big problem is there's still some wrapping paper on here. Did someone get this for Christmas? Yes, me. <laughs> I did. Give you a real quick look at the box here. It's got some pictures of it working, specs on the back. It does have the six LEDs on there. 50,000 hours of life. That should, should be plenty of time for us. Um, it does hold uh, 0.28 gallons of fluid uh, with 8,000 CFM. So we did already open it up because he had some friends over for New Year's and we kind of wanted to test it out. Yeah. So we've got a pretty good idea how it works. We plugged it in just a minute ago. How long you figure it took to heat up? Like a minute? A minute at most. This thing heats up fast. Um, it came with a manual button, you know, a nice long cord. Or on the back of it here, you've got the red button you can just push. And it came with a remote um, with four different buttons on it and a ridiculously kind of old school antenna. Yeah. Now, each of the buttons will do a different color yes. of, on the lights here that are on the front. Um, we'll show you how to program that here in just a second. You want to show them how it works? Yeah. So we have... You got red on that one. What do you got on the other one? Flat. Strobe. Green Flat. strobe. And then this one just kind of rotates through the colors. Yeah. And you can change all those. There's, I think, like 16 different options uh, to do that. All right, turn that off for just a second. Um, the fluid goes in this little jug right here. You can pull it all the way out. So if you're like me and you're kind of sloppy with the smoke fluid, you don't spill it all in your machine. You can fill it up separately and then put it back in. Back here, you can see we've got the little uh, little window here where we'll program the colors that'll work with the remote. The button, set it off. And then there is a, another little port for a timer remote. It is similar to the other Chauvet we did a video on. It doesn't have the same port as some of the fog machines, the older ones and the ones you get from Spirit and stuff, it's different. So you'll have to order a Chauvet one, unfortunately. So, should we show them how to program the remote? Yes. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so you can see on the back here, if you switch it to the C-O-L-O, -O, hit enter, and you can scroll through the different options. You can see them all changing up there. Once you pick the one you want, say we wanted blue strobe, hit enter and then whenever you hit the manual button you'll get the blue strobe there if you continue to hit menu it'll go to channel one channel two channel three and channel four those are the channels let's see the remote here each of the four buttons on the remote so if we pick one right now on one we've got it changing colors so if we go over here, go to channel one, hit enter, and then go to like one, it would be red. You hit enter again, channel one is red. It's really pretty easy once you figure it out. The instructions are almost non-existent though, so it did take us a minute to, to get that part of it going. Yeah, so with no wind at all, he's, what are you about? I'm getting close to five feet, aren't I'm you? like four, nine, four, nine. 11, and those. Yeah, so, I mean, it gets up there pretty good. Okay, so we've used it for a whole evening now. We used it on New Year. Mm -hmm. What did you think? I thought it was really cool because, like, it could change lights and instead of it shooting horizontally, it shoots vertically. Yeah, I, it's pretty cool. It, it really depends on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to have a machine in the front yard on Halloween to fill a large area with fog, I don't think this is what you'd want. This to me is more to use like an effect. Like I think we'll probably use it with your spirit props that you have on a remote, yes. you know, all those jump scares and stuff. And this will go perfectly out there. Um, it's just definitely two different uses, I think. Now, if you're inside, it would fill a room with fog, you know, no problem. But so do you have any complaints about it? Um, no. No, I, my only complaint is this handle is kind of ridiculous. Um, Cause if you try to pick it up, you're gonna dump your fog fluid everywhere. The only way it would ever come in handy is if it's you know already empty and you're carrying it around for storage. But other than that, it seems really nice. We've always had great luck with the Chauvet fog machines. So I, I'm hoping this one lasts us a really long time. 
Should we give them a look at it in the dark? Yes. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so it got dark. We came back out here. You can see the tank is glowing blue now. Um, when it's heating up, it's red. You wanna see how it works? Yes. All right, so we got the red. All right, switch it out. That's a just white strobe. Green strobe. Now hold this one down for a minute. This one kind of cycles through all of the different colors that are available. Uh, no, keep it going. Oh, it wasn't quite, oh, there it is. Um, it doesn't go through the strobe versions, uh, but it does hit all of the colors. And as you can see, the wind's died down a little bit, so it's going up pretty high now. So overall, what do you think? I thought it was really cool. I think it's cool too. My only problem is I do kind of think we need a second one. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think you can have like one on each side of the sidewalk, kind of leading up to the door on Halloween. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. All right. Well, if we get any new smoke machines or any new animatronics, we'll be back. Keep an eye out. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.